hey hey happy day so i'm going to be dealing with um, digestive system issues um overall and then piece by piece body mind and spirit looking at not only the uh, medical physical the anatomy and physiology but we're also going to look at the energy anatomy and physiology so um, if you could take a moment uh, to just listen to these words they're from the book your body speaks your mind by deb shapiro chapter 13 on page 237 buddha in the belly the digestive system the digestive system begins in the mouth with your taste buds the release of saliva chewing and swallowing it continues on through the stomach into the intestines and down into the rectum until it reaches the anus and final elimination. This whole process is vital to your well-being as your body survives on everything you put in your mouth. For instance, without the right balance of foods, you can clog your arteries, strain your heart, decrease your immune functioning aggravate your nerves, or develop an apathetic or lethargic attitude. However, eating is not about getting the right nutrition. It's not just about getting the right nutrition. It is also about emotional and psychological satisfaction. In the same way, the digestive process is not just about taking in food. It is also about swallowing and assimilating reality. Here you absorb everything that is happening to you along with your feelings, sensations and experiences and eliminate that which you do not want. Digestive difficulties may well be connected to having to swallow distasteful emotions such as someone's anger or because your own adverse feel feelings are rotting inside. In fact, the digestive system is a wonderful monitor for your emotional balance. If you are happy with what is happening in your life, then your digestion will probably be reasonably maintenance-free. But if you are experiencing conflicts, stress or difficulties, then these often show up as an indigestion or constipation before they appear anywhere else in the body. And then there's a bit about food, eating disorders, food allergies, um, and then the digestive process, the mouth, the tongue, teeth, the jaw, the gums, the throat, and then the stomach, and the intestines. And I'm just going to jump to that bit there on page 254. The intestines are not only where you complete digestion, absorption and assimilation of nutrients and prepare the unwanted for departure. This is also the place where you assimilate and absorb the details of your reality. It is here that you process your stuff where you di digest what you have taken in and your various responses. Intestinal difficulties are related either to stress and tension from your daily life or to deeper layers of fear, guilt or grief that are holding you back from releasing and letting go. Such holding creates tension and mistrust or a fear of spontaneity. The belly is the feeling center where you have intuitive gut feelings or can get emotionally wounded as when you are hit in the gut. Feelings can get locked in there, unable to find expression or release. Your belly may be extended with emotion and unexpressed feelings or sunk in response to a hollow emotional emptiness. If used correctly, this is a place of great personal power and potency. But if you cannot connect with your inner strength, it becomes a place of need and emptiness. 
Most of the digestion and absorption takes place in the small intestine, aided by the liver, the pancreas and the gallbladder. Here, incoming information is broken down into small parts and decisions are made about what to do with each piece. This is a process of analysis, detail and discrimination. Difficulties in this area suggest an overly analytical or obsessive attitude, or an inability to distinguish between what is really needed and what is not. In the large intestine, the matter is finished with, ready to be excreted. This area is about releasing, so difficulties here are connected to clinging to that which has already served its purpose. There may be grief or sadness, a holding on that prolongs the pain, or a fear of letting go, perhaps due to a lack of trust. Um, and then I'm going to quickly focus on ulcerative colitis, page 256. Ulcerative colitis is an inflammation in the large intestine, causing a lack of proper absorption, pain, bleeding, ulceration and elimination difficulties. It is due to allergies or infection, but can also be stimulated by stress. It is particularly associated with accumulated tension and irritation, and a holding on to intense feelings such as anger. This is the area, area where you have access to resources of personal power, but if you are feeling thwarted or overwhelmed by something or someone, then you may be feeling powerless and agitated. So there's a body-mind dialogue. If you can find a way to release the tension, anger and frustration, then you will find it easier to reconnect with your own inner resources. Then some questions. Is rage being internalized rather than being expressed? If your problem is stress-related, then why are you pushing yourself so hard? What are you trying to prove? If the inflammation is due to infection or allergy, then what or who is getting inside you and affecting you so deeply? And that's, I think, the most important part that I have to share and that is relevant. And um, I hope that uh, you enjoy this as part of your healing journey process. Please know that you're whole, perfect and complete and that all is well. And I love you. Namaste. In the cash.